good morning from me and my cat Finn. Today I wanted to film a little makeup tutorial. Um, disclaimer, I am not good at makeup. This is just my everyday, day-to-day -day looks. So first I start off with a concealer. This is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. And that this is like all I use on my face. I just put it on my under eyes and I put it on any spots that I want to cover up. And then after I do that, I just blend it with a beauty blender. But I also leave the concealer that's under my eyes on there for a little longer just so it sets in. I don't know. And when it's time to blend in the concealer under my eye, I pat it in with my fingers. Next, after concealer, I go in with bronzer, and I just started using this one, but it's the e.l.f. Putty Bronzer. And I take it with my fingers and put it under my cheekbones, on my forehead, and I dab that in with my fingers. I also put it on a little bit on my nose and slightly under my chin. <music> Next, I go in with um, blush, and this blush is new for me. I'm trying it out. It's like the tiny version of the Rare Beauty blushes, but so far I'm really liking it. The colors are just like really natural and pretty, and they blend in so nice, so that's a plus. And they just make you look like you're naturally flushed, and they're perfect. Thank you, Selena. <laughs> After blush, I go in with highlighter. This highlighter I've been using for so long, it's one of my favorites. It's the Maybelline Strobing Stick, I think is what it's called. And I just put that on my cheekbones, on my lip, on my nose, and underneath my eyebrow. For my lips, um, I'll get more into it closer to the end of the video, but to prep them, I use Aquaphor. Aquaphor is such a freaking lifesaver. It is the best thing on the planet. And I recommend for anyone out there who's looking for chapsticks because none of them work, use Aquaphor. Um, for my eyebrows, I go in with two e.l.f. products. One of them is just like an e.l.f. precise, I think, brow pencil. And then afterwards, I brush them with the Brow Wow Gel. My eyebrows usually look pretty fine naturally on their own, but to enhance them, I add a little bit of color because there are some like sparse areas. And I love them nice and fluffy. The fluffier the brow, the happier I am. <laughs> Next, I go in with my eye products. I Before I go in with eyeliner, I actually put mascara on, so I curl them. And I use the the Maybelline Sky High that is also waterproof. I find that my my lashes just like don't stay curled throughout the day, and the only thing that will make them somehow stay curled is waterproof mascara. I don't know. I don't like taking it off. It's like a hassle to take it off, but it works. So I continue to use it. Um, and then after mascara, I go in with two Maybelline eyeliners. One of them's just an unstoppable pencil, which I go in halfway through the waterline and I smudge out the ends closer to like where I want the wing. And then after I smudge out that eyeliner with a brush, I go in with the Maybelline Precise Liquid Liner. And this has also been a staple in my makeup collection. I don't really have a collection, it's very small. But I just love the little flick at the ends of my eyes. I think it just looks really pretty and really cute. Um, for my lips, I go in with more e.l.f. products. This is the Hydrating Core Lip Shine. I'm not really sure what the shade is. It's like a nice corally bright pink, but 
it's very sheer on the lips so it just like adds a nice little bit of color and then because my lips are so small i'll do anything that helps besides lip filler i put on top the nyx plumping lip gloss i don't know if it does too much to my lips but it makes me feel better about them <laughs> and after that that is my final makeup look it's just really cute really natural glowy but it's a no makeup makeup look i hope you all enjoy farewell from finn he loves you all and so do i see you next time Thank you.